So now let us work with normal bump map inside of Element 3D. So in order to do that, I'm going to import a custom model from the model browser right here. So I'm going to import a 3D object and I'm going to select this OBJ file right here and let's open it out. I'm just going to leave every setting as it is and I'm going to press OK. So here's my material as you can see right here. But over here, you can see that the leaves does not have much detail. And this is just the result of uh, modeling. So what I can do is in 3D uh, programs, bump maps are generated, which I can import over here in Element 3D. So I'm going to go over here into the material of this object. And over here, you can see that there's the normal bump map. So over here, I'm just going to click this and click this to import a normal bump map. Here you can see that I have sand normal and leaf normal. So I want to import the leaf normal bump map right here and I'm going to open this. And immediately you can see that there's a level of detail right here. And this is the bump map generated by the 3D uh, application. So I'm just going to press OK. And you can see that I can enable and disable the bump map and you can see that the level of detail quickly changes. So I can increase the bump map and you can see the level of detail increases just like that. You can move around just like that and you can see that the bump map details are all there just like that. You can even change the color. You can go to the diffuse color, change it into something like green right here just like this. And there you go, that's the normal bump map right there. So let me just change it to something like light green right here. So now you can see that I can increase and decrease the bump map. I can enable and disable and you can immediately see the difference. But the beautiful thing about this is it does not actually change the model. So if I were to disable this, you can see that the edges don't actually change. The bump map just bends the light in so that it seems as if there is more detail onto the model. So that is how you can work with bump maps inside of Element 3D. Hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.